right, well, oh, it man. is winter, so it you is. might not think about bringing a tropical plant into your home. No, but they can actually make really great plants for any room, no matter the weather, okay? Sarah Anton with Garden Style, some great ideas. Today we're talking about bringing tropicals into your home. And where do you start? For me, I like to start where I like to put fresh flowers. So, I love putting fresh flowers on this table. I found a pot that I thought looked perfect right here. This room gets four to six hours of light a day. So I'm going to use a plant that can accommodate that. So now that I've decided on my pot, I have decided on my plant, Browalia. Why did I decide on Browalia? Because it likes to dry out. I don't want to babysit this. I don't want a plant here that needs to be watered on a regular basis. So this is going on the table that I shared with you in the living room. So now I'm going to line it with a plastic liner. I like to put ground rock. You can use lava stone. You can use pebbles from your garden. In case you overwater it, it isn't standing in water. One of the main reasons people have trouble with house plants is they overwater them. Their roots need oxygen. So I decided on a succulent for the location because I get a lot of sun in that spot. So I decided on a Broalia. I have had this Broalia for a long time. I love her. She has a beautiful bloom, but she's not blooming right now. What I'm going to do next, and I do this with my fresh flower arrangements, and I've shared this with you before, is I put moss around the plant. I think it looks more elegant. So now we've added our moss, and I think it helps so much. What I'm going to do next, and what I recommend doing on a regular basis, is using leaf shine. And this not only keeps your plants clean, it also helps the plant to absorb the oxygen that it needs. So I'm just gonna spray that on, and then I'm going to take a paper towel, and I'm just going to wipe him down. So we are actually dusting the plant and it just makes it look prettier. It's healthier. Okay, there we go. It could be prettier if it had a bloom. So what I'm gonna do, what I did was, I went to a craft store and I found the flower. Now, the flower itself I think looks great. This stuff, not so much. So what I did was I took a pair of scissors and I clipped off all of those things. Now I'm just going to stick it down in my plant. No one would know the difference. And most important is do keep it watered. A plant like this, maybe every two weeks during the winter when there's not as much photosynthesis and the sun isn't coming out for as long and during the summer months and spring months, every week. And make sure you have a fine stream to pour into the plant unless you want to take it out and put it in a kitchen sink and wash the whole plant and I do do that on occasion but again that's my once a month thing and if you find it is sitting in too much water get rid of that water don't suffocate your plant they need oxygen now I have my flowering plant and when she blooms I'll take out the foe well, that was certainly helpful, but I don't have plants. I kill all my plants. I do too. I dump all my extra drinks. Like if I don't drink it all, I dump it in the plant. Like I'm red wine? Late. Yeah, whatever. It goes <laughs> in the plant. That might be why they all die. But somebody told me it like helps. It. I don't know how Yeah, it would I help, asked about, because I always hear about like 7-Up or Sprite, yeah. and I was told that was a myth. That's not a thing. Well, my plants are dying. So. Mine, I don't have them. I just have <laughs> fake plants, low maintenance. <laughs> and we'll have some more tips from her a little bit later in this show. We need all the tips we can get. Yeah, we certainly do. Come